Hey, what's up guys? Jimmy G here. Um, doing FIFA 20 player predictions for you guys back at it. I did the Chelsea one pretty early because they had a transfer ban, so it was pretty easy to do them. Um, but now I'm going to be um, doing the rest, not the rest of the Premier League, but at least the top six teams, see how they stand. Um, right now I got Manchester United for you guys. I'm going to be looking at the attackers, midfielders, defenders, as well as some honorable mentions. Very similar format to the ones before, um, or to the one as Chelsea before. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Also, I'm doing this way before that. I'm also doing this on the day where Chelsea got smacked today. Um, started the Premier League today for Chelsea 4-0 by Manchester United. So this is kind of rough. That's why I'm a little down on going doing this. But... However, let's go ahead and um, hop right into it. First up, attackers, of course, like I said, um, we got Anthony Martial. It looks like overall he's just going to get minus one in the stats, but his overall rating is going to stay the same. Um, looking to, he did score one today, um, an assist from Pogba. Um, Rashford got a plus one um, in rating, minus one in pace, but he's actually going to possibly a plus four in, um, in physical. So it's going to be very interesting to see. Um, how that really plays out. He's going to be an awesome striker next year. Five-star skills, four-star weak foot, hopefully. Um, so he's going to be phenomenal. Alexis Sanchez, he's going to have a crazy decrease of um, of minus four, so an 87 to an 83. He did terrible last year. He did. It's not that he did terrible. He just didn't really play. And the games that he did play, he didn't do very well. Um, so minus four in shooting. Minus nine in passing, minus four in um, dribbling, minus one on uh, defense, and as well as uh, physical. So we'll see what um, what Ole has in store for him this year. But uh, I believe in today's game he didn't play. I don't think he played in today's game. So we'll see. And then Juan Mata, I know he's a right mid or a right wing. Um, in here I throw him as an attacker, as a right ring. Um, I think officially it's probably just Sanchez, Martial, and Rashford. But, you know, had to get Juan Mata in there. It looks like he's probably going to get a minus one overall in rating. Minus three in dribbling. Minus one in um, in uh, physical and defense. And then minus two in physical. So, it's not looking too good. I mean, for Man United coming in six last year, it doesn't look too good for the squad other than Rashford. Next up. We got midfielders. So we got Paul Pogba here. Um, looks like his overall rating is probably going to stay the same. Um, however, he's going to need a plus two in shooting, plus one in dribbling. As very, very well deserved. Um, and he's going to get a minus three in defense. Eh. Um, today in Chelsea, he actually played as a CDM, it looked like, in a 4-2-3-1. He played left CDM, so it's pretty curious about that. And then minus two in um, physical. Uh, Matic here, <laughs> it's crazy. He's going to get a minus seven in pace, uh, minus two in passing, minus three overall. And then you guys can see minus three in dribbling, minus two and minus two. So we'll see if he gets, I think this year for FIFA 19, um, Arturo Vidal, he's the one that got a huge rating decrease this year, it, it, or not rating decrease, pace decrease this year. It might be Matic as well for a CDM, high rated CDM getting a huge decrease. Um, Lingard over here staying the same rating just getting a few bumps here plus one plus one minus one here and there so and so Fred didn't do too well he also I don't think he had a very um, didn't really get a whole lot of opportunities to play he's probably going to get a minus two rating overall with minus two defense and then minus one um, in shooting passing and dribbling and then McTomney look at this He's he's barely making it to a gold. He was a 71 silver last year. He's now he's gonna be a 75 gold. Um, his pace is more than likely gonna stay the same. What is he like six two, six three, six four? Um, Scottish player. So, um, if he improves and gets some team of the weeks, he's gonna be a phenomenal um player. It looks like um plus one in shooting, passing, plus three in dribbling, and then plus four in defense and physical. Um. Here after this, so overall, I guess the midfielders, not too bad. If I miss a couple, let me know. Um, if you guys want me to do additional um, ratings um, for some of the players that I miss, let me know, and I could go ahead and send you guys in the comments. Next up, we got defenders. So here we got Lindelof. Lindelof actually did pretty well last year. His team of the week last year was, was pretty good. If you're on a budget, it was really, really nice. So it looks like he's probably going to get a plus two overall with plus three across the board in pace, shooting, dribbling, defense, 
um, as well as physical and then plus one in passing. He's going to look like a pretty solid player next year, um, at least for starters, just, just getting it done. If you think about it, a really great starter squad here is if you have a really great triangle, so to speak, is if you have Shaw as well. So he's plus two in pace, plus one in shooting, plus four in passing, plus three in dribbling, plus four in defense, and then plus six in physical. So Shaw is also getting a huge upgrade. He worked his butt off last year. Um, hopefully he's, he has that same momentum to um, the same work ethic this year for Manchester United. Um, but a really great, um, like I said, a really great triangle is going to be Law, uh, Shaw's left back. Um, Lindelof as, as center CDM and then I mean if, if you go back really quick to one of the um, and then possibly Fred I mean if you look at it Fred Fred would be great as um, as a solid um, triangle so and possibly like a 4-3-2-1 or something like that or 4 um, whatever also so ne next up we got Smalling minus 1 um, yeah that's really all that's really all you can say he didn't he didn't do very well last year so he got minus one overall rating but he's gonna get a plus one pace and a probably plus two passing and these are also again guys predictions also the graphic designs are all predictions except for the ones that watch is here so we know Juan Bisaka is a confirmed one to watch EA tweeted it out so he is confirmed um Harry Maguire is a potential one to watch he was definitely last minute it looks like he's gonna stay same overall rating but a plus three pace and a plus three shooting with a bump in defense and um, in dribbling. Juan Bisaka, however, looks like he's going to get a plus two in um, rating. However, he's going to get a plus one in um, shooting and passing and really just a plus four in dribbling. So nothing really there in his defense. He played today. I didn't get a chance to really watch the game today, so I don't know how he played. If he played well, great. If he didn't, I'm not not sure what to say, but he is a confirmed one to watch. Harry Maguire is a potential one to watch. But from what I hear all over Twitter, um, the the entire defensive did did phenomenal. And I'm pretty sure Maguire and Wan Bissaka started. So that's yeah, good for you guys. Good good. And then we got some honorable mentions here. So De Gea, um, probably the best goalkeeper in the world right now. No, I lied. Take that back. Not the best goalkeeper in the world. Top top three top three goalkeepers in the world last year he didn't do too well after um really that uh, world cup with spain he made a couple of mistakes and it looked like he really didn't necessarily recover from that so minus one in rating minus one in handling minus four in kicking minus one in reflexes for some reason it looks like he's probably gonna get a plus one in speed and minus two in positioning next up you have Daniel James, the prospect. He scored today as well off the bench. It looks like he's going to get a plus 10. So he was a brawn going up to silver this year. We'll see how he plays. He may he may get he may get a ones to watch. We'll see. I don't think so. He may. Um, but I, I didn't put him in there. Um, he plus 2 in pace, plus 1 in uh, shooting, plus 10 in passing plus eight in dribbling plus three in physical we'll we'll see he he scored today uh people were pretty hyped about it so we'll we'll see how he performs this season um we got phil jones here minus two minus two minus two minus one in overall rating it's phil jones what do you expect then we got andres perea he played today actually i'm pretty sure he started at right center mid um he could have been um a right center attacking mid um, he might get a position change, honestly, from uh, right mid. He was a right mid in FIFA 20, so he might be a center mid now. We'll see. Potential position change. He could be a CDM, it looks like. So um, he got a minus one in shooting, um, but overall plus one in dribbling, plus four in defense, plus two in um, physical as well. Um, yeah, and then just overall rating stays the same because it's a little different from a right mid to a center mid. So... Next up, we got Bai, poor Bai. I threw him on here, sadly. Um, he's injured. He's going to be injured for the next, what, four or five months. Um, he's going to get a minus two rating overall. He's going to get a great boost in pace, but he's not going to get any upgrades, which is which is sad. So at least for not for the next four or five months, probably not until, shoot, I don't know, February of FIFA 20. So this is a card that's going to be pretty sad. Minus two in pay, passing, minus two in dribbling, and minus two in defense. Um, 
But that's it, guys. So that's the ratings. If I miss a few guys or guys you guys are curious about, please let me know. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Um, go ahead, follow me on Twitter. Get active. Um, follow me on Twitch. I'll be streaming some of this stuff. Um, currently, I'm playing the FIFA 20 beta. Um, so if you guys want my opinions on that, go ahead and tweet me. Um, but that's it, guys. Jimmy G23 is out. Peace.